find yourself changing the recipes as the yes. seasons change for all three restaurants? Absolutely. What, it's seasonal. What is so, it now? What is so it now like? we're moving into a lot lighter. Yes, it's getting really warm in Las Vegas and, and it's everywhere, except for New York City, right? It's cold. <laughs> it's true. But otherwise, so what I'm doing is I'm doing a very um, simple puttanesca. Do you know what that is? No. What Traditionally is that? in Italy, it's olives, capers, and anchovies. Okay. My daughter's not a big anchovy fan, but somehow not. she can pick them out. Samara, do you like this? You didn't tell us no? No, 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 no. Okay. My dad, so who, who was the, you know, my dad, who was yes. a Caruso, Italian, yes. when I was growing he up, would take him. anchovies and, and with the thing and open it up and eat them. It was no, gross as When I was a kid, my snack sometimes was toasted bread, butter, and anchovies right over the top. What is it about the anchovy flavor? Why didn't you It's salty. Salt? It's briny. Well, it's fishy salty. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, anyhow. Instead of using anchovies, we're swapping out oh, fresh salmon, well, which you. a lot of people like. Salmon. Yeah. Uh, the ingredient is very simple here. Look at so you season. Salmon. Yeah. You've cubed the salmon. So I cube this, and you take a piece of salmon. It's going to be less expensive this way. Yeah. You take a piece of salmon, and then you cube it up, and you're going to brown it. Wild or, or form? Good Does question. It what? Wild or? Well, at this point, they're pretty much the same. Oh no. Well, because our oceans are so polluted oh. that it's like oh, you can do either. Okay. Easier, Whatever, to, easier to cut the fish after it's cooked or when it's raw. Well, when it's raw. Much easier to cook when it's raw. I mean, much right. easier to cut when it's raw. Right. Do you want to start? So you cube, yeah, we'll be salt. Good. That's it. Yeah, looks like it's salt. This is a very bit. hot pan, so go yeah. for it. We're going to be covered in salmon. All right, you want skin side? Oh, there's no skin. There's no skin. Okay. No, you put out skin on. Yeah. So the other thing is my daughter doesn't like the skin. I don't so like I have the, yeah. Most people I'm, don't. I'm with Jade. I'm like, <laughs> Jade's like, I don't like Jade. I don't like I want what Jade likes. chicken fingers and french fries. But a lot of people are very. Tater tots coming later? Yeah. Tater tots is another segment. Anyway, you brown it in here, and then we add some red onion, a little bit, just a half of a red onion, so it's slightly sweeter, and a little bit of garlic. Now, if you don't want a, a ton of garlic, just leave the garlic whole. Just peel it and leave it whole. You'll get a very mild garlic flavor. When you chop it, you get a much more intense garlicky flavor. So it just depends on what you like. And, and don't worry about the fish because it's going to fall apart. That's the whole point. Okay. That it kind of falls apart. So you have to cook it, it on all four sides. Well, eventually it's going to cook. Sides. Well, the idea was that the idea is that you brown it a little bit. If this, I thought this pan was a little hotter, but it's not. That's but right. it's okay. So anyway, you put that in there, and this is a very quick weeknight meal. Mm -hmm. Then you add. A little bit of white wine, which I can see you guys all enjoy. Yeah, we're all back. Okay, and the white wine sort of um, just deglazes the pan of all the little bit of bits, brown bits from the mm -hmm. salmon. And then we do, here. I'm this is like a you. one pot deal. You it is a one pot. Throw it all in yeah. and then let so it So go ahead. Chill. Cherry tomatoes, yep. Carson, Cherry have. Tomatoes. So this is a fresh tomato sauce. Okay. It's not canned tomatoes, it's fresh tomatoes. And then what do we have here? We've we have got some... sliced almonds, yep. I mean almonds. Olives. olives. Green olives. It's a little early, I guess. Uh, oregano. Thyme. Thyme mm -hmm. and uh, parsley. Yep. Yeah. All the olives, black and green. All the olives. Yeah. So traditionally, it always has olives in it. I just cut out the capers and, and the, the anchovies. Why the kid? Why'd you cut the capers out? Just like. Uh, I don't like capers because, capers. because she picks. She picks them out. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> wow. I don't like capers. I'm telling Jade and I. I, I, am, yeah, I know. I know. But eventually, Jade's gonna like capers. I promise. But anyway, she loves olives, so I just double the olives because you still have that sort of salty, briny, rich flavor from yeah. the olives. So I just did both of those. So that cooks down for about eight minutes. You're cooking the pasta. This is what it looks like when it's done. What kind of pasta do you use? These are campanelle. So campanelle in Italian are little bells. You see how they look like little bells? Yeah. Uh -huh. Now you cook yours perfect, right? You know, well, no, I like it al dente. I like it al dente. And I like to finish it in the pan. Absolutely. How does Jade like it? <laughs> she likes it al dente, it's believe it or not. So no. that does not. It's the one it? thing you guys don't agree on. Jade likes it. I like it mushy. She always says to me, Mom, crunchy, not mushy. I'm a 12-year-old.